Hi there, welcome to Rain TV. I'm Kevin McNew. It's Thursday, February 11th. We started out strong, but ended the day mixed. Let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn was unchanged while beans gained over 10 cents a bushel, closing at 8.63, and Chicago wheat closed down three and a quarter cents this morning. Uh, news out this morning, we saw news out of Russia where their ag minister said they would be keeping their wheat export duty in place but that they could potentially lower it to zero if the need arose. In other words, they're gonna keep taxing wheat exports out of that country, but they may use it as a policy mechanism to stimulate exports if they move the export tax down to zero. Uh, other news out, USDA announced this morning that they had another round of corn export business, this time 152,000 metric tons to unknown destinations. That marks 300,000 metric tons in the last two days which is certainly supportive in light of the weak export business we've seen for the first half of the marketing year in corn. The other real big news today was yet again in the global markets where stocks not only in the U.S. but abroad are getting hammered. As of this taping, U.S. stocks are down 2% with the S&P futures uh, approaching $1,800 as a fresh low on this move of uh, big proportions. Uh, the other thing that's going on, the U.S. dollar continues to weaken and we're seeing a flight to safety in particular into gold and silver with silver shooting higher. You know, we've talked about this in the past. Silver is a really good buying opportunity right now in our opinion. Opinion. Historically, in the last five years, the average has been around $25 an ounce. Even with this run up, uh, where we bottomed out at probably $14 an ounce, we still have a lot of upside room here. And with all of the uncertainty in the marketplace right now, silver poses a very good safe haven asset and a good investment opportunity. If you are looking to own physical silver, we have a trade desk here at Grain Hedge. Rodney is our trade operator for physical inventories of gold and silver. If you're looking to acquire gold and silver, call Rodney at 877-472-4607 or email him him at rodney at grainhedge.com. Turning back to the news, th Thursday brought the U.S. weekly export sales report from USDA. This was yet again a mixed bag. We were expecting really good export numbers out of corn, but instead they were very disappointing with only 346,000 metric tons for combined old crop and new crop. That compares to 800 to 1 million metric tons that were expected in last week's good showing of 1.1 million metric tons. Soybeans, on the other hand, was very promising, coming in at the high end of expectations. This comes at a time of the season when we expect soybeans to really back off because our friends to the south will start to steal our comp or steal our business, and especially this week in particular with China on a holiday. We came in uh, a little bit better than expected, 299,000 metric tons. A lot of that uh, was a result of a few small or a few relatively big deals. Let's turn now and look at soybeans where we had a really good move today. One of the bigger moves we've seen in some time. I'm gonna take a look from our Grain Edge trading platform and look at this four hour chart on soybeans. And what you can see is a really clear pattern of dominant moves down, what we tend to call elevator moving down and escalator moving up. That is, we're moving sharply in the main direction. In this case, it's been down and then recovering in a slow direction or the escalator moving up. We've been doing that since uh, late January into February, and you can see we stabilized really over the last week and a half, and even the USDA crop report on Tuesday showed no major blips. But with today's big move, this gets us back into the upper end of the range. We traded in that 870 range, closing at the high end of the day. I'm looking for us to probably make a run, maybe on Friday at 878. Uh, with the shortened three-day weekend, we might get some more short covering here. So I don't know that this is a, a potential to see us move all the way back to nine, but I think in the short run, we have probably put in a bottom here. This weakness in the U.S. dollar is very favorable for our market situation. You know, we've seen a major collapse in the U.S. dollar, losing about 5% in value in the last uh, two weeks uh, alone. And so that has been exceptionally supportive for grains. Uh, and I think it may help us pose at least a temporary bottom here with 
all the news about fundamentals that we've been trading uh, for some time well known that the change in the U.S. dollar currency value could be very supportive uh, as we maybe try to pencil out a bottom here. If you have any questions or need help in your own grain marketing situation, give us a call 877-472-4607 or as always visit us online at grainhedge.com to learn how we can help you.